everyone, Jason Gilbo here at JGilbo11, taking a look at some stacking options for tonight's slate. Uh, eight games, going back to Chase Field here. Uh, Dimebacks let me down last night against um, Kyle Freeland there. Uh, get another lefty, uh, and a lefty who Tyler Anderson's been struggling to start the season. Um, I mean, has given up four earned runs and all but one start here. It's a lot of home run in each game. Uh, six on the year already, 2.13 home runs per nine. Uh, complete opposite kind of so far of Freeland, given the fact that Freeland rolled a ton of ground balls. Um, look at Anderson, fly ball pitcher right now. I mean, uh, you know, some of his numbers are a little bit unsustainable, like the 54% left on base percentage. But, I mean, 316 Babb is not anything crazy. Um, he's given up a ton of hard contact as well. I mean, 398 well with righties so far this year. Uh, on the road, he's struggling as well. Um, you know, missing a little bit bats on the right side, not missing a ton for lefties, uh, but 35% hard contact rate, 19% home run to fly ball ratio. Um, I mean, expect to see Chris Owings, Goldschmidt, Yasmai Tomas, uh, AJ Pollock, you know, back in the front four there with a lot of a lot of potential to go off again. Uh, and if people want to, sh you know, shy away from him on the last, you know, just giving off a last night's production, so be it. Uh, I I'm going to be going right back to the well there. Averaging over seven runs per game at Chase Field. So, I mean, you know, this is definitely an offense that's absolutely cruising. So, uh, I definitely like going there. Um, Brewers were a team I was looking at yesterday as well. Uh, another one where you can fire away with against left handed pitching. Um, a lot of those guys will, you know, obviously heavy right handed bats. Jonathan Vlar tips over. Eric Thames has showed the ability to hit lefties very well, although this is a little bit of a tougher matchup for him. Um, but you guys have guys like Hernan Perez, uh, Pena, Bandy, whoever's behind the dish there, Domingo Santana. Uh, these are all intriguing options against Garcia, who uh, 358 well with to righties this year has already allowed four home runs. Uh, you look at his last year's number, 22 home runs to right-handed bats, 342 Woba. Uh, friendly ballpark there in Miller. Um, Garcia is a guy who's not missing many bats anymore, um, giving up a reasonable hard contact rate, 36.2%. Uh, ground ball rate has dropped off sustainably, 26% line drive rate. So uh, Brewers are certainly a team you can fire away with tonight. Come in with one of the higher run totals on the slate, so definitely be going there. Uh, Dodgers in another one. Um, didn't quite pan out like I hoped. Um, Keep an eye on you know Cody Bellinger and uh, and Andrew Tolls there, uh, whoever's leading off. But you look at Zach Eflin, uh, small sample size in his career, but 341 wOBA to lefties, 2.17 home runs per nine, very low strikeout rate, uh, hard contact rate, 36 uh, percent, fly ball pitcher. Uh, yeah, I mean, you look at the Dodgers stadium, it is a little bit downgraded in the nighttime, but I like the potential here for some Dodgers bats, and, and given the fact that they are value as always, uh, you can certainly pair them up with the U Darvish. Um, I was looking at, at one team that's probably the odd, that was the last cut for me, just given the fact that I, I'm choosing three. Um, I, I think Houston's the next one. Uh, I think there is a lot of potential there tonight against Andrew Triggs. I mean, Triggs isn't the guy who's exactly lighting the world on fire. Um, Houston always has that upside. Now that those bats are back and healthy, uh, I'm definitely going to be going that way. Um, Texas was the other one, uh, kind of boomer bust, but uh, they're a value stack as well. Jesse Chavez isn't anything to write home about. So um, two extras there if you're looking to make multiple lines, but those first three were the ones I'm really looking at tonight. So uh, let's wrap things up here. If you want to check out today, fantasycafe.com uh, for our great tools and content.